Hello, this is Rabbi Eli Babich. Today, we begin our study of Tehillim, the book of Psalms. We do so with the yearning that our study together should serve as a source of protection and health for all. And we also hope that our study inspires each of us to recite Psalms daily. Throughout the millennia, Jews have always turned to the book of Psalms during their most challenging of times. Today should be no different. The book has been a source of light during times of darkness, a basis of hope during times of despair. The book reflects every emotion of life, sadness and joy, calmness and worry, gratitude and rejection. It has been pointed out that every single challenge in life is somewhere found in the book of Psalms. Whatever problem you will ever encounter in life was addressed by King David in the book of Psalms. According to the Talmud, King David composed all the Psalms. However, other traditions suggest that individuals such as Avraham and Moshe authored certain chapters. During each brief video clip, we will discuss one to two Psalms. And please spend a minute or two following the conclusion of the clip to recite the chapter. The text of the chapter, today's chapter, is included in this email. The first chapter of Psalms is relatively short and begins as follows. Praiseworthy is the man that walked not in the counsel of the wicked and stood not in the path of the sinful and sat not in the sessions of the scorners. But his desire is in the Torah of Hashem, and, his, and in his Torah he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree, deeply rooted alongside brooks of water, that yields fruit in due season, and whose leaf never withers, and everything that he does will succeed. The psalm states that there are two types of people out there, one whose behavior is praiseworthy, and the other whose behavior is unfavorable. A wise individual, said King David, understands that they will be influenced by those around them, and therefore they are careful who they associate with. Just like today, we are highly cautious, all of us, who we interact with, lest we be affected by them. So too throughout life, says King David, we must likewise consider who we interact with, lest we be influenced negatively by their behavior. Ultimately, our goal should be to come close to God's Torah. There's something very interesting about the first chapter of Psalms. It does not contain any prayer. God is not directly addressed in this chapter, which is unusual for the book of Psalms. Rather, the psalmist simply gives advice about how to live a moral life. And there is a powerful lesson in this. If we want God to hear our prayers, if we want God to have mercy upon us, then we first need to make sure our behavior itself is honorable. We first need to make sure our hands are clean. Then, and only then, do we have the basis to make a request of the Almighty? This is how the first chapter, the introduction of the book of Psalms begins. May we all be blessed with a wonderful and safe day. And with God's help, we shall talk again soon.